Hello, today we will be looking at what I consider the essential mobile apps for YouTubers. Now, these are apps that help with the creation process because YouTubers are creators, right? We make videos and other digital assets. But luckily, we have apps that will help us with the entire creation process from the ideation to the shooting of the video to the editing of the video the posting of the video optimizing the video promoting the video and so on and so today we will be going through some of those apps that i believe you should have on your mobile phone apart from that all the apps we will be talking about today are free obviously there are other premium and paid versions of some of these apps but you can make do with these free versions right so without much ado let's dive into these apps i will be breezing through this is by no means a detailed tutorial for any of the apps maybe in the future i will pick each of these apps and show you some of the best ways to use them so now let's dive into these apps so the first app here is evernote and evernote is a free app with some paid plans but the truth is i have stayed with the free version and it has served me over the years right so you go to evernote this one with this elephant icon so i've already downloaded it it's free it helps with organizing your notes so basically if i have an idea on the go right when i'm on the go and i want to have an idea on video topic or apart from the topic if i want to write outline for my videos i use evernote for example look at this video i just made these are the outline of what i wanted to say or what I will say in the video. Maybe I'm in the market or a workplace or somewhere. I just open my Evernote and I can have it written out. What this does is it gives you an opportunity to record even audio, your handwriting, to take images, to do text notes. For example, you want to write out the titles of the video you make. So I could just go COVID. I could go to coronavirus, uh, coronavirus vaccine. I could go codeine, go tramadol. So basically I could be writing the topics of the videos i will make apart from that you could also go ahead to write out the outline of each of the videos so if for example i'm done with that i could just simply save it and i could open another one and say okay for tramadol addiction i could just title this tramadol addiction and then i could go ahead down here to write out the outline so i say intro definition causes of addiction symptoms of addiction then i will talk about treatment of addiction do you understand and then conclusion so you could go you could use it as platform for brainstorming instead of you carrying your paper and your pen physically evernote comes in very handy it helps you with the your brainstorming process if you want to collect a group of ideas maybe you are on the go and then you have ideas you could just write them out because as a youtuber you are always looking out for ideas so that you can stay on top of your game and you see i've been using this for several years 2020 18 20 17 20 16 2015 so you see i've been using this 2014 since 2014 i've been using evernote and it's one of those apps i cannot do without as a youtuber so go to the app store and download evernote start playing around look go to youtube and look for tutorials on how to use evernote it's very simple it's user friendly and very powerful this is the first app i believe every youtuber must have there are other alternatives like trello that you can use so you could you, you equally go to yes and use trello to help you it helps you to organize anything does similar things like evernote so here i have it with different boards and then different cards right so you can either use or Evernote to brainstorm and to organize yourself. The next app we'll be looking at here is Open Camera. Now, Open Camera is an app that helps you with the manual control of your app. I know on your phone, you already have your native camera app. However, the controls are limited. They are grossly limited. But with Open Camera, you have several things. Like, for example, you can lock your exposure so that your light doesn't fluctuate. So if the light around you changes, maybe you are using the daylight or sunlight or your outside shooting it doesn't change with the changes in the external light apart from that there are several things you can adjust you can adjust your exposure you can come in here and then do several videos and settings so instead of just using your native camera app right 
you sh it's better you go ahead and use open camera an alternative to that is filmic pro it's great the next series of apps we'll be looking at are editing app the first one i want to go here is in short in short is free and helps you with basic editing of your videos it's a simple app it's a free app it has paid plans but in short will help you with some of the simple editing you need to cut out mistakes to import your video cut out mistakes add some little things text overlays and then export your video and it's simple it's free if you come in here you can simply click in there click in new and your gallery just simply select something and you can have different aspect ratio you can this is one of the apps that i use you can go 16.9 you know and then you can edit easily easily you can just move in edit easily add things you can add text add different overlays and in short is one of the apps that you should consider using you can save and export even in hd and so check out in short and download it and try to use it now apart from that there are other apps you can use like vlog it vlog it vlog it is also free and it helps you with your editing of your video so now we have moved from ideation where you write your ideas and then you write your outline then we moved on to where you actually shoot the video and we encourage you to use open camera for shooting your video now we are talking about editing and we've mentioned in short now we are mentioning vlog it also vlog it can be used for editing right just like in short basic features you can use so you come to your library and you simply select so so you see you there are several things. you can add text you can add stickers you can add audios you can put picture in picture do transitions reverse speed filter different things plug it is one of the best places you can start with and it is free it is free no watermark nothing so just take a look at vlog it too and see what you can do is vlog it in in shots but if you have the money to pay for the premium plan for kind master and power director please do the next app we'll be looking at is the youtube app the youtube app that you know about because this is what you use after editing this is what you use to upload your video right so the native youtube app that you know and if you go to your play store type youtube right so this one this first one here this native youtube app is what you you need to upload if you want to upload your video after editing with either vlog it or in short or power director or kind master you need the normal native ordinary youtube app to upload it so you simply come to the to youtube and just press this plus below here and you upload the video this is one app you need but that's the best you can do here you just upload when it comes to customization of the video we will use another app i will be telling you very soon about this is another app that i believe every youtuber must have obviously of course for apart from watching videos you can use it to upload your videos and to create other content the next app that i believe every youtuber must have is canva now canva is for design apart from the fact that it helps you with general things as a youtuber there are some designs that you need when it comes to your creative process so if you come to canva you go to your app store you go to canva it helps you graphic design video collage and um, logo maker right so i've already downloaded it and it's free even though i pay plans but you can make do with the free plans as a youtuber you need it basically for your thumbnails right but you can also use it for your channel art channel icon your thumbnails you want to do video ads you want to do intro outro and so on in fact you can even make your youtube video here you can use canva but for the purpose of this tutorial and then this video it's basically for your thumbnails you click on thumbnails you already have pre-designed professional thumbnails just come in here change the text and change the image and change the colors to your brand colors and then you are good to go because every youtube video needs a thumbnail right so canva is very handy this is what i use for all of my designs canva is what i use for all of my thumbnail design this it suffices so we've gotten an app for ideation we've gotten an app for shooting the video we've gotten an app for editing the video we've gotten an app for uploading the video we've gotten an app for creation of our thumbnail now how do we customize it how do we optimize our video here comes yt studio youtube studio and then you can go to your app store and just type so the youtube studio app comes 
up. This is different from the native, ordinary, common YouTube um, app that everybody has. So I've already downloaded it and it's free, completely free. And I've also done an extensive tutorial on how to use the YouTube Studio app and then the various features. And I'll place the link in the description section below the cards above. So you do well to check it. It helps you with your analytics to optimizing your video to channel management, to comment management and so on. So you do well to check the youtube studio so i'm just replying to a comment here and so that's the power of youtube studio right so it will help you with optimizing the video after uploading the video from your native youtube app it, it shows here so you can just click on this above here and you can change the title you can put the title you can put the description you can put the visibility to public unlisted or private you can change monetization and where you want it to appear if you are monetized if it's made for kids or not for kids and you can change the playlist you want it to be on apart from that you can put in tags you see the tags here you can add even add more tags so this will help you with the optimization apart from that there are other advanced settings you can also go through here and then you can upload you can click this to upload your thumbnail so with this youtube studio app you can optimize your video completely right and you save and it appears normally so this is very powerful now when it comes to other analytics further analytics maybe you want to do keyword research you might need another app this is where one of the best apps so far tubebuddy comes into play tubebuddy is free but it has paid plans so i've already downloaded it here it helps you with channel management for for keyword research and so on so i simply open it here apart from giving you analytics it also helps you with keyword you can also manage your comments here you can see your, your awards here but apart from that you can do tag explorer you can do minor keyword research here and i'll do a separate two body mobile app tutorial here on this channel so do it to subscribe to this channel if you are liking this video so far don't forget to hit the like button so apart from these there are other little apps you need here here and there like gmail your facebook your twitter your instagram because these are what you need for the promotion phase so you need your gmail you need other apps like quora reddit pinterest and so on to promote your youtube video so with these apps you'll be able to go through the entire creation process for your youtube videos and for your channel so if you find this video very helpful don't forget to hit the like button and stay subscribed and check the description section below for relevant links that are related to this video and also for a free download that will help you to easily start, grow, and monetize a profitable YouTube channel fast. And as we usually say in this community, play big and I'll see you in the next one.